Hey everybody, Chris here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Dogecoin's high and low scenarios. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell too. You can be notified when my new videos come out as well as when I do live streams. And we've been watching sort of the extension of the summer chop. That's right, into September. Still chopping around. Bitcoin in the mid 50s. Dogecoin is still under 10 cents. Not able to break through that resistance now, which we pointed out on the live stream the other night that that is looking like a solid resistance line trying to get above, but there may be further dips as well. So let's get into it. Let me show you the news and the charts. I'll show you what I'm looking at. We'll start here looking at the current Dogecoin price right here at 9.75 cents. That's right, 9.75 cents. Yesterday, Dogecoin came up and touched my white line, which is the September price prediction. We didn't see my Prediction for the month of September for Dogecoin. Go on to my YouTube channel and check out my September price prediction. Those monthly price predictions always packed with a lot of information. And so far, Dogecoin has hit that line and expecting it to come up and hit again. Again, this yellow line up here is our 10 cent resistance line. So what, is, what does this look like right now? Overall, Dogecoin is still number eight overall in market cap uh, firmly above Tron and Tuncoin continuing to drop and may actually uh, get overtaken by Cardano again. And we're just watching that on the live stream. We take a longer look at a bunch of other cryptos. So if you're interested in other cryptos as well, join in on the live streams every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at four o'clock p.m. And I also come on when there's something big happening in the crypto market, either up or down or related news. I do come on live, which is why you have to be subscribed and you got to have all of your notifications on. So you know when I go live. Overall crypto bubbles, it's a mix. We got some red, we got some green and Doge is just hanging out right here in the middle up about 2.4% uh, over, over the past 24 hours. Doge is just is just waiting. And so what we look for are dips to uh, pick up more crypto on the dips. So far in liquidations overnight, we did have some Bitcoin liquidations here. Nothing really major happened overnight. Uh, there was a big ETH uh, long liquidation at 859,000. These are the biggest liquidations. Of course, there are liquidations happening all the time. Uh, dogs, big time, whiff. These are shorts actually. So we got a little little movement in some of the memes happening this morning, coming up and taking out some of these, some of these shorts are happening right now. We zoom out, we look at the big picture. Titan of Crypto says, look, this, this is the bigger picture. And of course, George on Cryptos R Us did his own version of this. And he had looked at this like a year ago, if you were watching George last night, he, uh, he looked at this, he had his own version of this chart. It's the four year cycles in each of in each of the four years are basically simple. When it comes to Bitcoin, we have we have a big final run up to an all time high of a cycle, followed by a bear market, followed by a retest year, and then we move up again. And that move up again is the one that triggers the next move up, that's the halving year, are the number fours, the halving year. And then after the halving year is when Bitcoin reaches a new all time high, followed by a bear, a retest, Bitcoin halving year, and then a move up to the all time high, followed by a bear, 2022. And then 2023 is a retest. And of course, Bitcoin performed very well in 2023, particularly against all the alts, which were still kind of bleeding out many of them in 2023 until like the end of 2023. That's when Solana went on its big run, of course. But now here we are in the halving year. But this isn't the number one, though, which is the next year, which would be 2025. If history repeats, we would see a move up higher to even a higher high next year in 2025. So that's the big picture we're looking at. 
Tevin takes a look at Dogecoin, all-time high or close to it in December of 2024. He is still on this, on the bandwagon that we're going to see a big move for Doge in 2024. That's my call based off average time between previous all-time highs and crypto cycles. Stay positive. We are still in a bullish trend. It just takes a while. I'm still predicting more of a 2025 move, but he's saying December 2024, this green vertical line here. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. And his target is looking at different FIB levels. Very bullish. $2.27 though, is that that's his yellow line right here. Uh, that is a ways off, I think. Again, trying to keep things real here. But he is very optimistic. But on the flip side, there's always a pessimistic, shorter-term look, which is Dogecoin's price at risk. Could we see a further 20% drop in Doge? Doge's price is struggling to break key resistance. Technical indicators pointing to continued bearish momentum. Crypto, crypto whale activity has decreased, showing large investors disinterest reducing the chance of a bullish reversal, but we know that can turn around like that. But right now, we're seeing the extension of the summer chop happening and a lot of disinterest in crypto. We saw this last year as well, and that continued through September into uh, October. That's what we saw last year as well. Doge may test 7.7 .7 cents support if it falls be below 9.3. That would be a potential 20% decline. Uh, missing a crucial boost, uh, this average directional index tool is really looking kind of bearish. And on-chain metrics also point, also paint a concerning picture for Doge. The whale activity has declined. And right now, for a majority of August, Dogecoin's price hovered around 9.7 cents. Again, where we are right now, Struggle to turn 10 cents level into reliable support floor. This failure has led to concerns that Doge might lose support at 9.3. If this occurs, Doge could be in for a challenging September. If Dogecoin fails to hold 9.3 cent mark, it will likely test the lower trend line of the ongoing down trend. This level is expected to hover around 7.7 .7 cents, representing a 20% drop from current levels. Historically, 7.7 .7 has served as strong support. A breach of this level could further the downtrend. However, all is not lost. Should Dogecoin manage to retain its footing at 9.3, has a chance to flip 10 cents into a support level. This would give Dogecoin room to rally, potentially invalidating the current bearish outlook. And of course, significant buying pressure will be required for this scenario to unfold. So that's the overall view. Uh, we do have uh, Crypto Chester here, did a recent Doge video, and on his video, he's looking at this downward channel. Of course, mine is more of a wedge, but he is showing the channel. But he is looking at the potential breakout from that channel happening sometime in October. And his target is, again, he's looking at an 11 cent key point. So getting over 10, per, 10 cents, once it breaks 11, could make a move up to 15, maybe even 16 cents, a 50% breakout. That's a 50% breakout right there that uh, Chester is looking at. So that is a bullish outlook. But in the short term, we got to get there. And we got to get to that point where that breakout can happen. So we do have the bigger bullish outlook after that, which is from Alan, Trader Tardigrade. And we looked at this uh, during live stream the other night, where he is not predicting a lower second low, which has happened again, 2016 to 2017, 2020 into 2021. And 
we are already hitting that second low right here. And that second low has never been below that first low. So he is not predicting that we're going to see a drop down to seven cents again. That this is the second low. We will chop sideways a bit into October and then Doge will take off. Now, again, whether that whether that big run on Doge happens in 2024, again, like that uh, Kevin was predicting, or does that extend out a little bit more into 2025? We will be watching that. But this very bullish scenario here, that was based on the 2021 run, which goes up over $4, and I'm not predicting that at all. I think it's going to be a little little less uh, than that and that one dollar chop right there if we do get up above 75 cents that's going to be tough right there there's going to be a lot of heavy trading of dogecoin in that area but we got to get there first we got to get through september we do have the fomc meeting coming up in just under two weeks now of which on my monthly price prediction I'm expecting some big chop to happen around that time. So that is just a little under two weeks away. We will see. I'm still predicting us to overtake this 10 cent level again and come back and retest it uh, sometime next week. So we will be watching that as well. Come join in on the next live stream Friday at four o'clock. We'll be getting into this in a little more detail and then where do we go from here? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about these high and low scenarios? Which one do you think? Are you feeling bearish or are you feeling bullish? Give the video a like if you haven't already. Please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.